what Mr. Bigood says. He says that technology as a bridge between science and new products. Corporate reports by using the system, computer systems, by using some softwares, you can prepare your corporate report and you need not to sit and write it for a month together, right? Creates new relationship between customers and suppliers who electronically link themselves together. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number 4, that is Technological Environment. So in this session, dear students, we will be learning about what is technology and how it impact on business and what are the advantages of technology, disadvantages of technology and also we will be discussing about how this technology will be helpful in our business. So moving to the topic, technological environment. So if you look into the meaning of technological environment, technology is the collection of techniques, skills, methods and processes used in the production of goods and services or in the accomplishment of objectives such as scientific investigation. Yes, technological environment is nothing but the collection of techniques, skills, methods and the process used in the production of goods and services or in the accomplishment of objectives. So whatever you are supposed to do in the business, yes, nowadays technology plays a very important role. So without technology, not possible to sustain in the market or in the business field because for production purpose also we are using technology for maintaining the payrolls, the details of the employees, we are maintaining the technology and for you know login logout time we are maintaining technology that is biometric login and log you know logout system and for each and everything we are using technology so technology is the collection of techniques skills methods and the process used in the production of goods or services in accomplishment of the objectives so what and all the techniques or methods we are going to use in the field of production or in the field of achieving the objective, those techniques and methods are called technology. Moving further, technology is the usage and knowledge of tools, techniques, crafts, systems or methods of organization. Yes, the technology is the usage and knowledge of tools, techniques. So it's all about how we use the technology and it's all about the techniques, how we are going to use the technology and what methodology is supposed to be followed and in what way we are supposed to do a work. So for that we are going to find some ideas by using some machines that is called the technology. So Bigwood suggests this definition. What is the definition? Perfectly describes the concept of technology as a bridge between science and new products. Yes, what Mr. Bigwood says, he says that technology as a bridge between science and new product. It's like a bridge between the science and new product. So science is all about the technology, innovations, right? And new product, only by innovations, by only by research and development, we, we can bring in the new product to the market. So in that way, technology plays a very important role. So in a scientific way, what we are going to do, we are going to manufacture the product. By using what we are going to manufacture the product, by using the technology, we are going to manufacture the product. So that is why we say technology is the bridge between the science and the new product. So moving further, impact of technology on business. So how the technology is going to impact on our businesses? The first thing, customer relations. So what is this customer relations? See, if you don't have a proper relationship with your customer, if you don't have a proper relationship with your customer, then it is not possible to make your customer to be a loyal customer to a product or to your company's product. So if you have the technology to maintain the relationship between the customer and the you know uh, manufacturer, so it's going to be a longer duration between the customer and the manufacturer and the customer will be having the faith in manufacturer that every time the manufacturer will interact to us. Every time whatever the problem I face with the product, the manufacturer is there to solve the you know, problem. So with that intention, what the customer will do is going to be a loyal customer to your product for the longer period. For example, you know, just by receiving a message, what we will do? Suddenly we react to the message. Suddenly we give solution for that problem. So in that way, the technology is going to helpful to the business entity and the customer to maintain a 
bondage between them. So without technology, not possible. If you write a letter by saying, stating your problems, what you're facing with respect to products, then it will reach the manufacturer or the business entity after one week or 10 days. So again, after looking into the letter, you have to write a written letter to you about giving the solution for that particular problem. Again, it takes 10 days of time. Instead, if you use you know, uh, social media apps or if you use directly the company's website to you know, share your problem, within a day or within a minute, you're going to get solution for your problem. So in that way, technology is impacting between the customer and the manufacturer to build a good relationship. Next one, business operations. Yes, to do our business operations also, it will be very helpful to maintain the relationship between the wholesaler, the retailer, manufacturer, and with these three people. The manufacturer can share any information relating to the products with the wholesaler and wholesaler can you know, share that information with the retailer. They need not to visit to, to, to their particular places, right? They need not to visit the you know particular place. Like the wholesaler need not to visit the manufacturer place. Directly can send a message to the manufacturer. And manufacturer need not to visit the wholesaler place. Directly can send a message, right? And the wholesaler can send the message to the retailer. And the wholesaler can directly meet the direct consumer of the product. So by using the technology without meeting the person, we can do our business and we can expand our business as much as we want all over the world. Next one, corporate culture. Yes, this technology is going to change our corporate culture. If you are following the same kind of corporate culture like maintaining the ledger book and all, by using this you know, technology, by using the softwares and all, the whole uh, you know uh, corporate culture will get changed and we are all going to you know maintain some computers in that computers we are going to enter all the details whatever we wanted to maintain so in that way the corporate culture will get changed security yes you will have the security if you use technology for example instead of you know uh, taking all 10 accounts books to your house just you can copy all the details in computer to a pen drive a small pen drive and you can just carry it in your pocket so you need not to worry about it and there is more security for your personal information and for your business information once if you have put a lock for that information only you can open that particular information by using the lock right without that not possible to open that information so in that way it gives more security to our information business information next one research opportunities yes the technology provides more research opportunities. If you want to do any research, you can do the research by using the technology. Instead of going and visiting the customer place, you can send the questionnaires directly through the you know, uh, mail or through other social media to your customers and you can collect the information. And corporate reports. Yes, corporate reports by using the system, computer systems, by using some softwares, you can prepare your corporate report and you need not to sit and write it for a months together, right? So within one week, you can enter all the details of your companies, you know, uh, all kinds of transactions. So within a week, you can prepare your corporate results and it will be available all over the world. Anyone can look into your corporate results. Next one, industrial productivity. Yes this technology is going to improve the industrial productivity productivity is all about you know the producing more and more products with a good quality and by selling it in a reasonable price next business mobility yes business mobility is also one of the important things so you can easily expand your business and you can and you can easily you know uh, become a brand by using the technology next reducing business cost yes it's going to reduce the business cost if one, if 10 people wants to do a work, a system can do that all 10 people work, right? Instead of hiring 10 people, you can take one system, one computer, and you can appoint one person to maintain all those details so that it's going to reduce the cost. Next, improving communication. Yes, it's going to improve the communication between the management or between the management and the society or between the management and the customers. So it's going to improve the communication between the group of people so these are all the impact of technology on our businesses in day-to-day -day life yes next moving further the management of technology yes how to manage the technology the first thing is reduced costs of operations yes it's going to reduce the costs of operation so instead of using technology if you use human resource there the cost will be more Right, instead of uh, hiring 10 or 20 employees, just uh, by purchasing one machine, you can make that machine to work 
10 people work, right? So that you can reduce the cost of operation your business. And instead of, you know, giving advertisements in, in big, big boards and all, just by giving the advertisement to social media or in TVs, right? You can easily advertise the products all over the world with less cost. New product and new market creation. Yes, new product and new market creation. It's all about creating a new product and introducing it to the market. So if you create a new product or if you want an idea of creating a new product from your customers or from the society, easily you can question or easily you can ask the society to give some ideas to introduce new products. So recently the Cadbury company, they had given some you know advertisements asking the customers or the society people, the common man to give some ideas about their taste of chocolate. So what people did, they uploaded their you know, taste of chocolates. So in that they selected few and they introduced those chocolates as new products. And new market creation, yes, by just by advertising like that, they can create a new market. That means they can create new customers to their product. And adoption to changes in scale and format. Yes, adoption to changes in scale and format. It's all about so in what scale we are supposed to you know, produce the product, in what format we are supposed to sell the product. With respect to that, by adopting the technology, it's going to help us and it's going to manage each and every aspect. So once if you set a proper you know, scale and format with respect to producing a product, then based on that, the production activities will be done. And you need not to appoint any person to take care of it. The machine will take care of about all the you know, items to be produced in what you know, uh, scale it's supposed to be produced and in what format it's, it's supposed to be produced. And improved customer services. Yes, improved customer services, it's all about, as I said, if you adopt the technology, by that you, you can manage the relationship between your customer and the business entity. So the customer is going to, you know, be a loyal to you and is going to continue as purchasing with your products. If you are not going to be so Available. If you're not going to be available to your customer, then customer will not going to have faith on you. If you're available to customer, what customer will do? He'll be having faith in you and he'll continue his loyalty towards your product. And continuous development of technology. Yes, the continuous development of technology will be take place if you adopt the technology and the technology is going to help us to develop the new technology. Uh, moving further, IT revolutions and business environment. IT revolutions and business environment. So it provides new ways to design organizations that can lead to structure like the T-form organizations. That is technology form organization. See, in IT revolutions, see in, in COVID time, we all used to work from home. We all, we all used to do work from home. So at that point of time, what helped us? Yes, technology helped us to do work from home. And even though we are in home, we completed all our tasks and we got our salary, right? So this is how the, comp the technology is going to help the people or the business entity to, to do their businesses, even though wherever they are and whichever the place they are, and they can continue working for the company and for the accomplishment of the company's goal. Next, creates new relationship between customers and suppliers who electronically link themselves together. Yes. This technology, the IT revolution is going to create a relationship between the customer and the supplier. How it's going to create, as I said, the example of Cadbury company, what they did, they asked the customers to give some suggestions to manufacture new kind of chocolates, to introduce new varieties of chocolates. So at that time, what customers did, they given some suggestions in that they selected a few suggestions and they started introducing those new products. So at that point of time, the bondage will create between the customers and the supplier and that bondage will continue for the longer period. And if there is any problem with respect to the product, the customer directly can approach the manufacturer without waiting for any middleman. So there it will create a you know loyalty between the customer and the company so that the customer will be very loyal to product and he maintain the same relationship and he is going to suggest that product to his friends or the relatives so that is going to create new customers to the product and enables tremendous efficiencies in production and service industries through electronic data interchange to facilitate just-in-time production 
yes with respect to service industry like for example call centers or software rental services or some other kind of services where they provide services that in that service industry this technology is going to play a very major role because the service industry is based on the technology so if they have proper technology so that obviously they can provide the very quality services in a very short period and again satisfy the customer needs and there is a tremendous change in service industry after adopting the new advanced technologies and next changes the basis of competition and industry structure for example in the airline and security industries yes the changes on the basis of competition and industry structure with respect to you know competition so earlier to technology introducing the technology in marketing or in other kind of fields it is different but after introducing the technology in marketing field that is in advertising and all now the way of advertising it's different and the way of competing to the products it is fully different so after introducing the technology the competition in and this the, the, the industry structure is changed a lot next provides mechanism through groupware for coordinating work creating a knowledge base of organizational intelligence yes it's going to provide mechanism through groupware for coordinating work creating a knowledge base of organizational intelligence so here the information will be available in system for example computer so everyone can access to that information and everyone will get to know what's happening in the organization so that everyone will be understanding each other and everyone will be knowing what's going on in the organization so that every person will be happy that they'll know each and everything about the you know organization and they can maintain that rapport and relationship with everyone so that the organization will grow and the company's objective will also be accomplished next contributes to the productivity and flexibility of knowledge workers yes obviously it contributes to the productivity and flexibility of knowledge workers if a person is knowledgeable if he know how to operate the technology then that person will be given preference and he is going to be very productive because if he used to that you know particular technology then always he loves to use the technology so that it is going to be productive and flexible for the knowledge workers next provides the manager with electronic alternatives to face to face communications and supervision yes so it's going to provide the electronic alternatives to face to face communication and supervision so if manager have any you know confusions between the employees or if manager have any doubt relating to the product manufacturing or if you have any you know issue with the workers directly can meet the employees directly can meet the employees face to face through using the technology next appropriate technology and technology adoption yes so appropriate technology and technology adoption it's all about where to adopt what or what to adopt where we have a proper technology and where to adopt that proper technology simply adopting the technology even though there is no need then waste of money waste of time right so that is why appropriate technology and technology adoption when different technologies are available it needs to be ensured that the technology chosen is the most appropriate for the company or country yes we have enough technology we have different different types of technology but while you are going to select the technology to your business entity and, and when you are you know purchasing it you should be very much sure that whether that particular technology is going to be helpful or not if it is not helpful to your business then need not to purchase it because it's a waste of you know spending that much of money only if the technology is needed and if it is going to be beneficial for your business entity then only you have to go and purchase those kind of technologies simply should not waste the money on purchasing of inappropriate technologies next the technology is suitable in one environment may not be appropriate in a different environment yes we should not think that particular technology will suit for all different types of environment no some technology will not suit for all the environment so based on the environment based on the working culture structure we are supposed to purchase the technology not simply blindly you know following that okay fine this technology will suitable for all the environment no no that is not possible so while you are selecting you should be aware about the environment also next this could be due to reasons like difference in the natural factors such as 
topographical conditions, climate, weather conditions, soil conditions, etc. Et Difference in income level, scale of operations, demand conditions, use facility characteristics and customer characteristics. Yes, this technological suitability may differ or may depends based on the natural factors such as weather, climate or topographical conditions and all and also based upon the scale of production and in what way you are running the management. So based on this, you know, factors, it's going to be decided that whether the technology is helpful or not, whether the technology should be purchased or not or whether the technology is suitable to our industry or not. So with this, I'll wind up this session. I hope all of you understood what I explained in today's class about the technology. We will meet in the upcoming classes with more videos. Until then, thank you all.